Hi there, welcome back to Nick's Toy Barn. Today I've got a restoration video for you and it's this A-Team van made in 1983 by Galoob. And I've actually been looking for one of these for quite a while and you do get these come up on eBay all the time but they're normally quite expensive. And this, come, this one came up and as you can see it's in need of restoration. It needs a really good clean and there's lots of bits that are broken off. It's actually made for these three and three quarter inch action figures, which are quite cool. And the first job is gonna be taking this thing apart. And I'm hoping it's just a case of undoing the screws on the front and the back. So we'll get on with that and see how easy it is. And that's not too bad at all. You just, like I said, you undo those screws and the bumpers come off. And then this just comes out. I think at one time there was probably glue on these seams, but that's long since gone. So that came apart quite well. And there it is, all in pieces. And if you're gonna take these, this apart, the uh, dashboard comes out quite easily because that's just glued there. And on this one, the glue had just failed. So that came out easy. But if you wanna take the windscreen out, you've got to be slightly more careful because that's held in by these little rivets. And you've got to kind of like push the end over so the rivet will go back through. And if you're not careful, it'll probably be quite easy to break the windscreen but I want to clean this all up and polish it and polish all the scratches out of that. So that was all quite important that I took it out. Next job, I think, is just going to be to give it a really good clean. And then we'll see what we're going to fix on it. And now I'm just going to give it all a really good clean in warm, soapy water. And I've removed all the stickers from here, from this part, all the lights, and they came off quite easily. But I can't get the ones off of the inside, so I'm going to leave them. I'm just going to try and be really careful not to get them wet. So I'll give it a really good clean and I'll bring you back. And here it is, all nice and clean. And some of the main jobs I've got to do is repair the, the bull bar on the front. As you can see, the pieces are snapped off either end. So I've got to repair that. And I've also got to repair the, or make some new lights to go on top of the, the roof. And also the spoiler on the back there is snapped, so I've got to repair that. But I think the first thing I'm going to do is to try and um, polish out some of the scratches on the main van. And I'm just going to use some kind of car polish for that. And also polish the scratches out of the windscreen. So I'll start that now and let you know how I get on with it. I'm just going to use a general car polish for this and see how this works. But it's going to take a long while, so I'll bring you back in a little while. And I think, as you can see there, it is starting to work. If you look, you can see the reflection of my hand in the bodywork, so it is making it a lot more shiny and it looks a lot more cleaner. But if you are going to do this, it's best to probably try a little bit on the inside of whatever you're going to use just to make sure that's, that um, doesn't react with the plastic. But I think I'm going to carry on with this. And when I do this side, this is probably the worst side and there's a few little, little scratches down there. So I'll see how they, see if I can polish them out. And I'll bring you back again. Well, that was about an hour and a half's worth of polishing. And as you can see, it's come up really nice. It's mega shiny. But just something to bear in mind if you do try using like car polish to polish plastic, it gets stuck in all the little gaps like the door line. So bear that in mind that you're gonna to have to get all that out afterwards. But I think it's worth doing. And I polished those scratches. I think they're actually in this side. 
all the way along there and most of them come out they're still there a little bit but I'm really pleased with that and I've also polished the windscreen using the same method and there's still a couple of little scratches in there I might give that another go over but that's come up pretty clear and nice And the next thing I'm going to work on is going to be the roof, I think. I'm going to try and sort out this broken spoiler on the back there. And I think what I'm going to do is cut that off as level on that side as I can get it. And then try and make this side flush with the top of the roof and flat. So I can add another piece of plastic on there and maybe try and get a piece of flat plastic and bend it so it comes up there and goes along there and then joins onto this bit when I cut that flush. But I'll see what I can do with it. Then I'll bring you back again. And that's the spoiler all finished. And I actually made this out of a piece of plastic from a DVD case. I cut a strip out and glued it there and bent the other side over and glued it on the base. To the roof and I'm quite pleased with that I'll just need to give it a coat of red paint now so the next job is going to be working out what I'm going to use for the spotlights on the front I've got a few ideas but I'll let you know what I decide to do and as you can see I've also polished the roof because I thought once I start messing around with these lights I'm not going to be able to go back and polish it so that's that bit done I decided to go for the easy option for the lights on the roof. I just use these little wedge shaped pieces of Lego. And they don't look exactly the same as the originals, but the only other option really was to buy another van and use it as a donor van. And I don't really like doing that. So these are going to do really well for what I want them for. And I think they look really cool. They look different. And as I was searching through my Lego box, I found these which will help which will help me fix the bumpers as you can see the end pieces are broken off the bumpers so I shall use the Lego to fix the, the end pieces and I'm going to do that next and then the only thing to do is to paint the spoiler red and it'll be nearly finished and all I've done with the bumper is trim those little pieces off the ends to make it all nice and flat and I've trimmed these pieces of Lego into the shape that I want them. And all I'm going to do is glue them into place. And then that'll be the bumper finished. Then all I've got to do is paint the spoiler. Then I can put it all back together again. And there's the finished bumper with the bull bar all complete. And you'll probably notice that these are a little bit bigger than the ones I cut before. I realised that they were too small and I had to get rid of the down bars because they were blocking the lights. So that's all finished now and I'm quite pleased with the way that looks. And what I think I'm going to do next is put it all back together off camera and then I'll do a reveal at the end and see what you think of the finished article. And here it is all finished but just before we take a look we'll remind ourselves of what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. And I think you'll agree with me, it's a bit of a transformation. I'm really pleased with the way it's turned out. And it's really nice and shiny. It's well worth using the car polish, I think. There's still a few little scratches here and there. And I think the spotlights, spotlights look pretty good. Like I said before, the only option was to get another donor van and I don't really like doing that. And it also looks pretty good inside. I'm quite pleased with the way that looks as well. Looks nice and fresh. I left the sticker on the dashboard because I thought if I try and take that off, that's just going to ruin it. So I just glued down some of the edges that were coming away. I 
think it looks really good now. Really pleased with it. The bumper looks really good as well, or the bull bar, or whatever you want to call it. I think that piece of Lego worked out just fine. Nice quick little fix. And I stuck the original stickers back on the lights. Just need to get myself a Hannibal now to go in there with the rest of the crew. And the only thing I'm not that happy with is the colour match on the spoiler. And also the paint was not very good quality and it went on quite streaky. So what I'm going to do is I've already ordered some more paint. And I'm going to probably sand that all down and paint that again. But that'll do for now. As you can see, it's just a slightly different colour red. But other than that, I think it looks awesome. Let me know what you think of this restoration in the comments below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And I'll leave the last word to B.A. Baracus. I pity the fool that don't like my van. <laughs>